got it. Hello, Yuan. Hello, Yuan. Nice to meet you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. How are you today? Mm, well, it's not not nothing very exciting. Okay, just normal. Are you stay at home? Yes. Okay. And how about your class? Your your class, your online class. Do you have any online class? Yes, I study in the morning oh. and I just have an examination. Oh, yes. English examination, examination, English examination. Yes. And how about your um, this afternoon? Do you take a nap? No, because no? I have to wait. I have to be awake to Oh, Do my English examinations. Oh, yes. Okay. And now we continue. Oh, we start our lesson for today for 40, uh, 40, 45 minutes. Okay. Now, the first one, can you introduce yourself? Let me know um, something about you. Well, my family has four people. So I have a baby sister. And, well... Yeah, How and I'm you? in grade. Okay. I'm in the fifth grade, and oh yes, fifth. And how about your hobby? Do you have any special mm -hmm. hobby? Well, my hobby is, is reading books. Reading book. Okay, what kind of book do you like? Do you not know for books? I think Sherlock Holmes. Ah, you like to read Sherlock Holmes? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And how about another? Do you like uh, uh, watching a cartoon or cartoon film? No. No, you don't like it, just reading book. And how about sport? When you have free time, what do you do? Oh, just read books. Oh, just read book. Do you go outside for sport? Any sport? No. Oh, you don't like sport. Okay, how about your English class at your school? Which unit did you study now? Until now? Unit, no, you, I think unit one the, oh. in the new book. Ah, oh, just unit one. Do you have any questions about the, for unit one? Oh, no, the no. last book. No? no? Okay. Okay, I will say our lesson for today with you. And if you have any questions, let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, I say our lesson for today. Here, this is our lesson. I think it's just review. It's easy for you, I think. Now, let's try with this one. Okay, the first part is here. Can you see the screen? No, again. Now let me say it again. Here. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Not this way. Yeah, this is so. Um... Okay. This is the first lesson for us today. Now, Ah, sorry. Um, I'm introduce something about myself. I'm Miss Jen. I'm forty four. Uh, I'm thirty four years old, and now I live in Ho Chi Minh City. Okay. And how about you? Where do you live? Where do you live? And I yeah. live in Bien Hoa City. Oh, is in Bien Hoa City? Is near Ho Chi Minh City? Yes. Okay. Yes. You are. Uh, do you often go to Ho Chi Minh City? Yes. Yes. For what? Just for... No, to see to see my dad's new companies. Ah, your dad company in Ho Chi Minh City. Yep. Okay. Which district? 
in his company? He didn't tell me. What? Ah, uh, he didn't tell you. Just uh, just bring you to his the uh, office. Yep. Okay. Yes. Br bring me straight to his office. Ah, uh, yes. Now, okay. This is our lesson. Is about hello. Now we have some. First one is just about the different ways to say hello. Now, could you tell me some ways to, to say hello? The first one may be good morning, good evening, or good afternoon. Okay. And how about others? Can you tell me someone or uh, something? Well, good night. Good night. Okay. Maybe I think good night to say, um, to say goodbye, not for uh, to say hello. Not to say hello. It's mean to say hello when we meet some people for the first time or the second or the, at the beginning. No, tell me. Hello? How about hello? What about hi? Hi, okay. Oh, when you meet up your friend, your best friend, you can say what? Hey, okay. Hey, uh, what is your friend name? Tell me some, uh, some name of your friend. Well, his name Long and he's my close friend. Oh, yes. We always play guns with each other. Oh, yes. Also, you say, hey, Long. Okay. Hey. Or you say, how are you? For to say hello. Okay. How are you? Or how's it going? Do you know that sentence? How's it going? I know that sentence. Okay, okay. And next, how to say goodbye. I think it's easy for you. And when you hmm, leave some, someone, so, so you say goodbye. And how about another way? Can you tell me another way uh, to say goodbye? Good night, maybe. Good night, maybe. Good night, yes. And, and good, luck. good luck. Good luck. Anything else? How about uh, catch you later? Maybe catch see you later. Us or see you later. Or have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Bye. Okay. It's very easy. See you later here. Or see you tomorrow. Okay. It, I think it's easy now. And um, this one. Goodbye, friend. And hello, friend. Now this one, the first is, the first one is hello again. Now, look at the picture. I think it's an easy picture for you. Now look at the picture and tell me how many children can you see in the picture? Seven. Yes, yeah, seven. Now can you tell me in full sentence, please? In full sentence, I can see, or there are seven. There are children. seven children at the school. At the school or in the playground. Okay. Oh, just six. Six. Here. One. Oh, I think it's not here. Can you see uh, the woman here? Maybe it's not uh, the children, a child. Oh, it's a teacher. Uh, yes, maybe it's a teacher. Now, Next, what is the building behind the children? I think it's a school. Yeah, what? Primary school. Oh, primary school, or maybe the school. Okay, now number three, how many girls up can you see? Do you know the word grown up? There's only one. Yes, she's the woman in the between the picture, okay? And next, here, she's here. And number four, do you think she's a teacher? I think yes, because she's all, I think she's late for work. Oh, she's late for work, okay. She's in hurry, okay. And next, oh, uh, this is some new vocabulary, but I think just review Sky. for you. It's very easy, easy word here. Sky. Sky. Seat on chair. Seat. Number three. Skateboard. Can you Skateboard. hear um, 
Can you hear the sound clearly? Yes. Yes. Okay. And my house, I I have my own skateboard. Oh. And can you play with the skateboard? Yeah, I sometimes play with my skateboard. Oh yes. I like um very cool when play with the skateboard. I see many boys in the in the park play with this. Yeah. Backpack. Backpack. Okay. okay. Here. Bicycle. Wrap. Bicycle. I have my own bicycle too, but it's oh. too small for me. Uh, it's just small, and now you older. Yep, and my dad going to buy me a blue bicycle. Oh. I, will, I will name it Lightning. Oh, okay. And how about now? Did he buy for you? Not yet, yeah. but okay. my old, but my old bike uh, is named uh, Thunder. Ah, uh, yes. And how about sunglasses? Do you have any sunglasses? No, but my sister does. Yes. And what colors of her sunglasses? Green. Green, okay. And roof. How about roof? Do you know roof? What does it mean? Can you make the same thing with roof? Roof. Roof? Yes. Uh, roof. The house. Yes. Got a large roof. Maybe. Oh, a lot of food. Hmm, maybe. Okay. On the roof is on the top of the house. Okay. I know. Okay. Now next here is the roof here. And this one. And how about uh, our grammar for today is about present simple and present continuous. Okay. Here, this one. Um, the, this is something a structure about that present symbol, okay? And present continuous. Now, let me know something about present continuous. Uh, the first one, we talk about present symbol, okay? Now, uh, tell me when we use this, um, this tense, present symbol. Well... Now let's try. The uses of uh, present simple tense. I think you know all of that because it's, uh, you learned it before. Do you have any idea? No, I'd say with you there the more, and it's easy uh, to solve your idea. So you solve your question here. So you the board now? Here, can you see the board now? White board. Let me know something about the present. <laughs> the present symbol first. Uh, I'm skating my skateboard. Oh, I scared it. Or, or I'm playing with my baby sister. Oh, yes, I uh, example here. You, you example your example here. Um playing. I playing is all right. If I uh, type uh, wrong, wrongly you tell me no. Oh, I playing now with my little sister. Is it right? Yep. Okay. And how about another? The first one, the first sentence you tell me. What is it? I'm going, I, uh, no, I'm skating my skateboard. I skated? My skateboard. I skated my skateboard. Okay, and how about another for example about the sentence about your father or your mom? My mom is teaching. Oh, 
My mom is teaching math. My mom is teaching math. Is it right? Okay. Yes. Okay. How about are you sure with your sentence? Sentences here. Are you sure? Yeah. Now yep. remember, is this the present symbol? Present symbol tense. Tense. Oh, sorry. Thanks. I used to with this. And how about this one? I saw you another. Now this is my sentence. No. Um. Yan. Is in grade five. Okay. Or. Um, my your little or Yuan skate <laughs> the skateboard very well. The skateboard very well. Now, how about uh my sentences? Is it in the same with your with your tense with no. your sentences? No. no, no, okay. Now, so what is it? What is this ten about two, two sentences? To my sentences. Mm. No, maybe. Mm. I tell you, um, another. How about this one? I think here you put I'm here. How about I'm here? And I am skating my skateboard. How about this? Maybe you have to confuse with this. Okay. And this is about present. No, remember this is about the present simple tense. I give you some, some note with this. Let me know here. Let me see here about again. Now, the present, the present symbol tense. Okay, here, the first one, we use it to uh, introduce, to talk about something in the, in, in present. Something happened in the, in present. But this, For example, mm, let me know. Um, my mom, you say my mom, my mom teach, teaches, uh, teaches math. Okay, do you know this teach and teaches? Is it right? Do you remember it? Do you remember this one? Or mm, we are, and maybe let me know. And with this one, and how about, uh, for example, the water? Number two is about uh, the tooth. Talk about the tooth. For example, there are, there are seven days per week. Okay, we use R in this sentence. Okay, there are seven days per week. Okay, and how about uh, now tell me the words number three, for example, now something uh, will happen for, for the train. Leaves at three p.m. Okay. Do you know this dance? Is it? Do you understand know structure here? Yeah. Do you understand know structure? So the the structure for present symbol is 
subject plus uh, maybe yeah plus um verb with verb and you can put s s or es here do you remember this one and for the the rest of the sentence here do you remember it i think you learned it already okay and when we use s or es here do you remember it if i have the sentence uh, for example i um i teach math and when you say she teach just math it's the same or different now yeah it's the same or different i think it's different oh it's different so when we use teach and teachers i think we use teachers when we describe the others ah oh, when we describe the others and how about uh here they teach um they teach math or teach our teachers with how about this sentence how about this sentence you choose teach our teachers teach our teachers i think i will use teach teach oh uh if as you uh as you said you say it uh, when we talk about other others people we use teach our teachers teachers hmm. here i saw you the structure of this one for for here present present symbol here some some note for you here okay the first one is in negative uh in possessive sentence okay so you use s plus mm, uh, verb for example, it's it, I, sorry, I. So you say I plus verb. Verb here. But when you talk about he, she, it, he, she, and it, you plus, you plus with verb S or ES. Do you learn this one? Do you learn this? Have you learned it before? Mm. Do you remember this? Let me know if you are learn already. We move to another part. Yes. Don't waste time to, to this one. I know. I okay. already know that. Okay. Okay. If you know that, we move to the to this one. But, um, sure that maybe we continue okay said this again how about this one mm -hmm. maybe it's a little bit it's here okay and this one how about this now look at this one again okay and can you tell me some uh, give me an example with this with this structure here this one this one first mm. give me an example okay okay Present symbol and present continuous, okay, right? Yes, yes. Just about uh, we talk about the present symbol first, and it's not. Okay. Doesn't have about this one. 
he he teaches he he is teaches English to the children. Oh, he is teaching English to the children. I'll write it here. Mm, here, you say he is teaching. He is teaches. Teaches or teaching. Teaches or teaching. Teaches. Is do you use is here? What? Is how about is here after he? No, no I didn't use is. Oh, okay. He teaches English to the children. Okay. English to the children. To the children. Okay, and how about when we change it, when you turn it into negative here with this structure? How about this one? How do you change it? How do you change into this, this one? In negative sentence, negative he, one. He, he doesn't oh, teach yes. he doesn't. English. He doesn't. Yes, he doesn't. He doesn't. Uh, I think he doesn't teaches English to the children, maybe. Teaches. How about is S at the end? I keep it or I omit it? Think. Think it carefully. Use it or omit it. E S at the end of about teach. Teaches or just only teach? Mm -hmm. Now here you look only at teach. Only teach. Oh, yes, I think so. Here, because this is the structure for negative form. Okay, you use subject. Do you know subject here? As for subject. Do you know as here? As is subject. Yes, subject. Now tell me some subject you know. Some verb is a uh, soft word for subject. He, she, it, I, they, we, our, oh no, no, our. Oh, uh, no, our, yes. And how about teachers or my family or the trees, the street, Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City is a subject, subject. Yes, it's maybe all around us we can we can be we can use it as subject. Okay, it's a noun, just now for subject, and we use don't and doesn't, and after don't or doesn't you use verb infinity. It means you don't put anything after the verb. Okay, do you understand it? Yes. And keep it in this one in their form, in this form, okay? Just teach, no S or E S here, okay? And when you turn it into uh, interrogative form, how do you do that with your sentence? In the question, turn it into the question. If you turn it into the question, interrogative form, for example, you use this structure, number three here, do or does plus subject and verb I, I and F. Infinity, verb infinity. Okay, can you do that, Bian? Let's try. Just say what you think. Mm. She doesn't teach. Mm, I think my mom doesn't teach English. No, I I say um, I say you change it into the question like this one. Use this okay. structure. Okay. Does she? Yes, Does he teach English to the teachers. Oh, uh, no, yes. to the students. To the students. Ah, uh, yes. 
Yeah, he did endless. Oh, okay, I endless. endless here to the children. Yes, he did endless to the children. Okay, okay. And how about your answer? When with this saying, uh, with this question, the answer. The answer, please. If you say yes, you say yes. No, he doesn't. Teach yes. English. He okay. Doesn't, he okay. doesn't teach English to the children. No, we. You say no. He does. He does. And no, he doesn't. Okay, it's simple. Do you have any question for this one? This tense. Now, Yan. Let me know. Do you have any question, any wonder with this presence? No. no? Okay. And how about armies are? How about this structure? With armies are here. Armies are here about this one. About this. Armies are. And we use this. She is. She teaches, no? No, um, no, just give me an example with this. Let me know yeah. if you understand it or not. What armies are? I think, no. I think it's, it's simple. I think you know, Yan. Yeah. Um. A little bit. What you just choose? Uh, use arm. You choose one arm is or are for your example, not all I of think, them. I think I'll choose this. Yes, teaching me English. Yes. How about um, my sentence? Now look at my sentence here. Oh, we don't have any place for this here. Um, look at this one, please. Uh, for example, I, I say I am a teacher. Okay, I am a teacher. And how do you change it into negative form? Now, Yan. Let me know how I can how I change this sentence into negative form. I'm you not know? a teacher. I'm oh, not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. And how about in um, in the question? Now change it into the question. Um, I think. Are you a teacher? Maybe. Are you are you a teacher? Oh, do you use your your phone or your iPad? Are no. Somebody... Okay, now after our lesson, you can do that. Okay, now let's try something. Now, okay, if you understand all of this, we move to this one. Okay. What? What? I can't say anything. Okay, okay. Maybe it's uh, difficult to see. How about now? Now, about present continuous here. This is man, a bit difficult to see here. I uh, move back with this, with this slide is simple. Here, about present continuous. Okay, when we use the present continuous? When what we are doing thing? something? Um, yeah, say mm -hmm. when, what we doing something okay and there at the time we are talking we are saying this and the form of this ten is very easy to be you use arm is or are blood verb i am i'm, I'm, I'm talking okay i, I am talking. talking and how how about he he for example how about he, he is talking is talking Okay, they. They are, they are 
playing or something? Oh, yes, it's very simple, but this verb. Okay, now, and this one, this is some uses of uh, two tenses here about present simple and present continuous here. Now look at this one and give me some example. Now about the habits, about present simple first. We change to this one, this one first. Okay, we talk about this first. Now about present simple, about habit and regular actions or situations. For example, I wash my, I wash every, my hand day. every day. He usually okay. gets up very early. And how about your sentence? Now give me two. I wash my hair every day. Okay. I has, uh, I think. I'll talk about, I think it's easy to talk about your little sister. She? I think she always liked to play with her toys and playing games. Oh, playing games and her, with her toys. Okay. And about facts. Number two, when you talk about facts, pun, minutes, situation, or states. For example, I have one brother. He lives in Paris, or water boys at 100 degrees. Okay, it's just the fuck. The fast, okay. Now, how about yours? Can you make the center with this? Talk about facts. No. Well, I, I have a cousin. He lives in Chang, Changbong. Oh, yes. And about the past, like water boys at 100 degrees. Well, let's see. Hmm. How about um, something? Talk I about the sun or um, Maybe the sun rays in the, in the east or in the west. The sun. The sun, I think. The sun. Faces? The sun. The sun faces. I think the sun. My mother had, my mother, I, no. The sun, oh, the sun burns my potato because I left it out. Oh, burn? Burn your potato. Mm -hmm. So, how about this? Burn my big potato. Potato plants. Is it right? Potato plant. Mm -hmm. This sentence? Is it this sentence? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, are you still with this? How about burn? The verb burn is it right here? Burns. Burns, okay. Right. And how about uh, how about with stative verb here? Do you know stative verb? Do you okay. know that? I need money for the pen. I need money for for my for my what? Pen. For the pen. Pen? Okay, how, how, how much does it cost? Hmm? What? You, you say you need money, your, 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 your pen. It's very expensive. Is it your pen expensive? No, it's kind of cheap. Kind of. Now, what do you say? I don't, I don't hear. I can't, I, I don't know what the word you say. Pen? It's kind of. Cheap. Kind of chips, friend. Okay. Kind of chips, man. Kind of chips. Okay. And how yeah. about um now? So you have some stative verb here. Now look at this one. For example, the verb of the sense. Look at the last part of uh, the, the board here, the of the skin here. Um uh, Yuan. Here, verbs of the senses. For example, you have here see, smell, 
look, seem, sound. With all of these verbs, you use in present symbol. Okay? Okay. Okay. But with opinion, you have believe, consider, like, love, hate, prefer, think, etc. Okay? And about possessor. Do you know possessor? Possession. Possessor. Do you know this? For example, with this half own, belong, etc. This book is belongs, um, this book belongs to me. Do you know this about possessing? Possessing? Yes. Do you understand possessing? this? For example, Can I have my own toys, maybe. Oh yes, your toys belong to you. The sentence is um, the toys belong, sorry, belong to me. To me. Okay, it means possession. And um, also, degree, uh, sorry, agree, be depend. What does it mean, depend? Do you know um, the meaning of the verb depend? Do you know the, the meaning of that? Yeah. Do you see the verb depend? Do you yes. know this verb? Okay. Do you know this? It's mean. Mm, you do, you depend. Mean. I don't know the mean of depend. Okay. It's mean when you depend on your parents because you need to base on her and on them. Depend. Maybe depend is mean. They give you food. They give you everything. Your parents, you depend on your parents. Okay, let me know here. Let me see this word. Okay, for example, um, I depend on my parents because I'm only a child. Do you understand this? Do you understand the verb, the verb depend on now? Do you understand this? This concern about your, your parents? Yes, I know. Okay. Do you understand it? What does it mean in Vietnamese? It depends on uh, like your vowel. Yes. 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 Phụ thuộc. Okay. Nương tựa. Ah, tựa. yes. Okay. And how about the next verb here? No, no, no. Um, what? Let me know. I can. Oh, oh, oh. This way. Oh, I can. Go to the next here. Okay. And need mean? How about mean? Do you understand the verb mean? Can you make the sentence with the verb mean? Mean? Yes. Mean. Think... Mean. Depend means, depends means. Yes, you, depend means. You, know, you need somebody to need help somebody you. to help you. Yes, or to support you. Yes, you understand it. And how about this one to the next? Let me see. Oh, oh I can stop this one. I'm going to hear. Okay, remember, realize. Oh, how about realize? Realize? I realized that that old toy was my toy. Oh, okay. And how about recognize? Recognize? I recognized my old friend when I was I was two years old. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. And seem. Seem and want. How about seem? Let me know. Seem. Let me know. Let me uh, uh, give me an example with seem. Think about it and let me know. Hmm. About seem. It seem small it seem, or something. It seem. It seem what? It seem, it seem big or small. Oh, it seem big or, or small. weak or strong. Okay. Okay. Just you know this, and so all of this we call them are stative verbs. Okay. Okay. Do you understand this? And with this one, we just use the present simple. Okay, no use present continuous, but in some case you use this. Hmm. Nhưng mà có một vài trường hợp mình cũng sẽ sử dụng ha. Từ từ mình sẽ xem lúc nào mình sẽ sử dụng những cái từ đó ở trong uh, thì hiện tại tiếp diễn ha. Okay, tell that, tell about that later. And how about future timetable events? Okay. For example, the train leaves at four. All exams start next Monday. And how about your sentence? Now give me an example with this future about talk about future events. My school's examination will start in no time. Um, in no time, uh, will start in no time. Okay. And how about others? Give me one more. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, I'll leave the room when maybe I mm, I brush my teeth after meals. Now again, I can hear you clearly. I brush my teeth after meals. Oh, I brush my teeth after meal. Oh, not, not, it's just a habit, not the future. The first sentence is okay. Okay. You understand about this? Just talk about the future. It's a new future. Yes, I know. Okay. Just new future and it will definitely happen. And with this one. Do you feel uh, do you feel bored with this with the tense? Do you feel bored? Uh, feel bored? Okay. <laughs> okay. And did you have any question with this one? No. 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 Oh, okay. I give you an uh, example. Oh uh, no. Exercise to do this. And you finish uh, with as your homework. Is this your homework and I send it to you now? Is it okay? And you finish it and send it to me? Okay? Okay. Just a symbol, just symbol um, as a slide. Oh, symbol homework. You want, do you want to have homework at home? Mm. Okay, but did you, you didn't talk about present continuous here. Okay, I give you this one and you do it at home and we maybe we, we will discuss about it next time. Next class, is it okay? Okay. Okay, did you have any questions about our class for today? Did you no. have any recommend questions? No. No, okay, we stop here. And if you have any question, let your mom, mom know and Send me message, okay? Okay. Okay, our class stop here. Bye bye, Yan. Have a night. Nice, have a night nice once. Okay, bye bye. See you later. Bye bye, con. Hôm sau học tiếp ha. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Goodbye.